I believe that inside of us, we all have this calling. As a matter of fact, I know it. I've experienced it. That we've got this ability to just live an amazingly fulfilling, adventurous, exciting life where all of our genius and everything that makes us feel joyful and loving and this meaningful connection with our kids, our families, our loved ones, our relationships is all there for the asking. But what, what I see happening is people get so caught up in their routines every day that day after day after day becomes this sort of this energy and life-sucking monotony that doesn't have to happen. I believe that you can hear, hear that calling inside of you and something inside of you will wake up life because I went down this really dangerous spiral where I was literally killing myself. I felt like my life was being sucked out of me and it culminated in a moment where I was literally just in the middle of the night I woke up and my hands had seized up and I was in the middle of this attack where I thought I was going to die and, and as I couldn't breathe and the ambulance showed up at my house and picked me up and took me down to the emergency room they said that you, we think you have enough oxygen but you know you're, you're getting palpitations and your heart is racing your blood pressure is skyrocketed you know, for a guy who's not even 5'9", to be 206 pounds and to be stressed beyond belief and to have this anxiety, what's causing it? There's got to be some anxiety, something underneath. In that moment while I was laying there in the hospital room looking at my wife, I started asking these questions like, why am I here? Why do I feel this, this way? How have I allowed the life that I'm in the middle of to take the quality of my life away? What excuses and reasons do I have for that? Why do I go the same road to work every day? Why am I continuing to build a business that I feel like is a jail for me? Why am I trading my time and my energy and my life for money? At what point do I need to break the rules that I think I've always had to follow to create some new rules that help me survive? And when I got back from the hospital, I made some decisions to draw my line in the sand because I believe at some point we all have within us the ability to cut ourselves off from a life that isn't fulfilling, that isn't the one that we want, that's following the rules that aren't sufficient enough for what we know we've been put here to live. The next thing that happened was absolutely transformational. I started asking questions that were questions I had never really thought about in this way before. I gave myself permission to get inspired and to get just more curious sort of overcome the fear of change and of breaking the rules more so than I ever had before. And I asked the question, what is my purpose? What is my calling? What is it that I've been put here to do? And I started framing it from the standpoint of how can I help other people in a way where I'm just giving the most love and most capability and, and the greatest strengths that I've been given, these gifts that I have that my soul wants to give. Could I heed a calling? Could I take action? on making a difference for other people and still make a living and still take care of my family. And how would that happen? How could I make that work? So what I did was something that's shocking even now looking back at it. I closed the doors on a multi-million dollar marketing firm that I had spent my entire life to build. I closed the doors and I, I remember the moment when it happened where I had just secured a, a multi multi hundred thousand dollar contract that in the long term was easily worth over a million dollars and I put myself in a challenging position where I actually had to drain my bank account to cover my overhead and I was sitting in my driveway and I was on the phone with a friend of mine and I was really facing this massive fear I was terrified of the reality what if this doesn't work what did I do what have I done to my life I, I took my fear and I took action and in a matter of only four months, I grew a business that was already more valuable than the marketing firm that I had closed. I believe that you have something inside of you. You have the very same gifts that I have, that everybody has, to face your biggest fear of doing what you were put on this earth to do by giving what you know you're great at giving, what feels amazing to you. I know that inside you, you have the ability to take action right now before it gets to that point where you're dying, where you're gone, and you'll have to look back and say, what could I have done to give more, to, to follow the glimpses of what inspires me, 
to build a process that's so giving and so valuable to other people that it's profitable, that it makes an amazing living to me, but I'm not doing it because of the money. I'm not trading my, my time for money. I'm actually getting dividends from serving other people in a way that's so fulfilling. I'm creating a story of my life and my business adventure that I can look back on and I can share with other people and family and friends and my children where I'll be excited to tell the story I wasn't afraid to live. What's possible for you? What could you start right now? What could your life look like simply by deciding to burn the boats and take your life back, to take the island and live the life that you've imagined?